Why, hello again. It's me. This time, I'm walking my cousin's dog, Brody. And today, what I'm gonna be talking to you guys about is I'm gonna be talking to you guys about the need for variables, constraints, and criteria for different engineering and scientific investigations. Now, scientists and engineers need to utilize criteria, constraints, and variables in order to make specifications for the overall product or solution that they're trying to find. So that's what we're going to be talking about today is what are criteria, constraints, and variables, and how do you find them? So let's get to it, shall we? So differentiating between the two. First, in the scientific method, you're going to use variables. Then. In the engineering and design process, you're going to want to use criteria and constraints. A variable in science is any factor, trait, or condition that can exist in differing amounts or types. The criteria and constraints of an investigation can also be referred to as the requirements and limitations of an experiment. So let's break down variables for the scientific method to start off with. So when we take a look at variables in science, we're gonna have three different types. The first one is gonna be controlled variables, where you should have at least three, and these are gonna be the variables that are kept the same on purpose in an experiment. Then you're gonna have your independent variables. It's super important that you only have one. This is gonna be the variable that is changed on purpose in an experiment. And then lastly, you are going to have dependent variables. And these are gonna be the variables that are going to be measured in the experiment. So when we take a look at these different types of variables, we're gonna focus on this guy known as Francisco Reddy. So to, before we talk about Francisco, let's talk about the confusion. Aristotle once theorized that simpler life forms such as worms and maggots emerge alive from the earth and from rotting organic matter. This theory is known as the theory of spontaneous generation. However, Francisco Reddy said, I don't think so. So what Francisco did is he actually set up a scientific investigation in order to prove Aristotle's theory wrong. So the first thing that he did, he decided that he was going to use snake meat because meat was something that Aristotle theorized was what was creating these different types of organisms such as maggots and flies. So what he did is he put three containers full of the same amount of snake meat at the same temperature. The first one was snake meat with no lid. The second, snake meat with a sealed lid. And the third one, snake meat with a mesh lid, where the organisms such as flies would be able to smell the meat. So after conducting this experiment, he was able to find that the meat that had no lid had flies and maggots all over it. The container that had meat with the sealed cover had no flies on the meat, with a couple of flies around it, and then the container that had the meat with the mesh lid had flies all over the top of the lid, but none actually on the meat. However, let's take a look at Rady's variables. First, the controlled variables. This would be the size of the jar, the amount of meat, and the temperature the room was set at. If we take a look at Rady's independent variable, this would be the type of lid on the jars, either no lid, a sealed lid, or a mesh lid. Then lastly, the dependent variable was the amount of flies on the meat. Now, let's take a look at criteria and constraints. When we're looking at criteria and constraints, we're going to go back to my bike example. So in the last video, I was starting to define my problem of how I want to make sure to tune up my bike so it doesn't make noises and so that it works more efficiently. So in the next step of the engineering design process, I want to start to identify my criteria and my constraints. So my first 
for criteria, that's going to be like your requirements for the project. Your constraints would be some of your limitations. So some of the criteria and constraints that I came up with was I want my bike to have less noise, I want it to shift gears better, I want it to be a smoother ride, and I don't have a ton of tools. So those are kind of my criteria and constraints um, for this bike tune-up project that I'm embarking on. As a reminder, for those of you who are doing a project that includes the scientific method during this time, you want to make sure that you are starting to include in your documentation packet your independent variable, which is the variable that's changing, your controlled variable, you should have at least three, and your dependent variable, which is going to be the variable that is measured.